Up. Come here. Up. Up. Not you, Blackjack. No. <laughs> Come on, camper. Come on, camp. Up. Good boy. Come on. We'll be back for you, okay? Boy, good boy. Where the heck? How proper this boy is. That's a really good boy. That's a really good boy. Look what I got, buddy. All right, y'all. So Kelsey and I right now are up in the Poconos, and we are going to be doing something really special here today. We're going to be taking this little boy right here on his first fishing adventure. It's going to be really interesting to kind of see, like, how he reacts if we catch the fish. Hopefully, we catch some fish. We're over here by a super well-known lake called Lake Wall and Pack. There's supposedly so many different species of fish in this lake, so it's going to be very interesting to see what we can catch. We're going to be throwing artificials. We got some live bait, as you guys can see. 13 pounds. We got him when he was eight weeks old at 10.6 pounds. He's now 13. He's a big boy. All right, we have made it to the lake. This is your first fishing expedition. Are you excited, buddy? This is my rod and reel. This is what we're going to catch the big ones today. Oh, he likes it. That is such a good boy. That is a good boy. Oh. All right, where are the, wait, where are the worms? Hello? Ooh. All right, worms secure. You wanna see the worms, bud? Look at, look at how fat those things are. Look at these. Oh, don't eat it though. That's interesting, huh? That's what we're gonna catch your first fish here today with. It is a beautiful day out here. We got the good boy. We got Kelsey with the leash. <laughs> All right, you ready to catch your first fish? There are like, as I said, there's so many different species of fish in here. He's actually never been to like a uh, body of water, really, besides a swimming pool. Come on, buddy. So yeah, this is like the first time he's ever been to an actual body of water. Like this is a giant, giant lake. He's never been to a pond or anything like that. So we're starting off big here. And it is, this is pretty toasty. It's like later on in the day, I thought it'd be like a little bit cooler. We got a cool little van over there. What do you think? He's only ever seen a swimming pool before. Oh, he wants to probably go swimming so bad. What do you think, buddy? Oh, I'm drinking it. <laughs> oh, are you scared? <laughs> Imagine his first time at the beach, he's probably gonna be like, what the heck? He's scared of these little baby waves. The baby's scared of the baby oh, waves. <laughs> he's a little he's scared. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna be taking him actually on these docks over here. Over here. Good boy. Come on, buddy, we gotta go catch a fish. He's like so distracted by the waves. Dude, this water is actually pretty freaking clear too. If you guys can see that, you can see kind of to the bottom-ish. I think it gets pretty deep here out on these docks. You got it, step over. Come on. Step over. Oh, good boy. Go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hello, all right. It is time. This is his destiny. Well, first of all, I, I guess I should say, if you guys didn't see the last video, I, I got a dog. <laughs> this is Camper, the Golden Retriever. If you guys want to follow his Instagram, I said this on the last video, but we have an Instagram for him. He has a YouTube channel, and I'm going to be posting a lot of my Instagram about him, so if you guys want to see any of that. All of that will be in the description below. He is, like, seems like he's pretty chill. He's just like, what the heck is going on? All right, so we are going to... Actually, probably right here should be fine. The mission is, first of all, we're gonna try to find some fish. I don't know what the heck could be around these docks. I'm hoping some like smaller, like panfish, maybe some rock bass, some bluegill, some other kinds of sunfish. All these worms dug down. These are some, honestly, these are some real juicy thick boys. Get over here, buddy. They're like really lively too. Like they're moving like snakes. I uh, do not have any split shots, so this should be kind of interesting. I don't know how deep this is, but all we're gonna do here, I have a little hook, we have a little piece. This juicy, thick old worm. At first, man, this is just gonna be some old, traditional fishing worm hook. And we got a dream, so I'm just gonna drop this. Actually, we're gonna go over, we're gonna go to this little corner right here. Just drop her down. I feel like a natural presentation actually might be pretty good. Let's just get that down there. See what we're working with at first. I want to catch some big stuff if they're if it's around here. I don't freaking know. Wish I had some split shots. I like cleaned out my car. I cleaned out my fishing bag, and it's just like saltwaterified. I've been doing a lot of saltwater fishing, so we got sabikis and gulp, but no split shots. So that is a thing. I just said pretty much first mission is just to get any kind of fish. I just want to see how he reacts to it. You know, 
After all, this is his destiny. He's going to be my fishing dog. Do I have something on there? He's flying over there on that jet ski. That looks so fun. So I don't know. I feel like if there's any fish here around the docks, they're going to be under them. Just kind of chilling under the structure. Maybe I should go a little bit shallower to start. Can't go wrong with the worm though, right? Let's just let that drop very slowly. It's an interesting like sound you hear too, like all this creaking and stuff. All right, come on, anything down here? Hello? Hmm. Maybe a little bit shallower. Let's try right here. Come on, a monster gill gotta be down here or something. Oh, dude, I just got bit. Did he take it? Oh my god. Yo, it literally feels like a freaking earthquake when you're staying on these docks. Alright, we got fish under here, dude. To the left of the blue boat, right of the gray boat. You gotta remember that. Come on, take it. He's smacking it again. Oh, dude. Dude. What is that? Oh my god. Hold on a second. First fish of the day. Oh my god. Dude, that is a big old bluegill. Holy freaking crap. Holy crap. All right. Now, this is the interesting part. Holy crap. Hold on. Let's just look at this guy real quick. Ow. 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 Don't do that again, please. All right. That is a beauty. Look at that. That's my hand right there. That is a big old bluegill with a big old belly. Camper, look what I got. Oh, he sat for it. Good boy. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? Camper, what do you think of the bluegill? Is it just me or like, did he just walk the other way? Buddy, don't tell me you're one of those guys. Can't appreciate a good gill. We'll make him, we'll make him understand. He's just a baby, so he gets a pass. But some people just don't understand the beauty of the gill, man. The bluegill buffet. You guys watch the sale, you guys know, man. I mean, that's a pretty little fish. One more time. Hey, buddy, what do you think, huh? Oh, you smell it. Good boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, can't watch out. <laughs> I got it. He's probably oh so confused. Okay, we're gonna, sorry, sorry about that little bluegill. You probably thought you were getting eaten by a little baby lion. All right, good job, buddy. Let's see if we can catch something that he actually cares about. Look at this handsome young gentleman. <laughs> I freaking love this, like I love this dog. All right, we're gonna catch you something real nice. I'm gonna catch you the biggest old bluegill. He's gonna have to respect it. Hey man, this is like, this is a big deal. This is a big day. Camper's first fishing adventure. First fish I caught while owning a dog as well. What else would it be other than the good old? I'm telling you, man, people hate on the bluegill. Whenever you need a fish to pick you up, they always got your back. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Drop it a little bit lower. Well, that breeze is starting to pick up a little bit. That is feeling so good. Come on. All right, uh, gray boat is not producing anymore. Life comes at you fast. Let's try black boat over here. Just have it slowly sink down <laughs> as a lucky sneeze. I'm gonna have to come here and like actually get out on the water and try to catch like some big old stuff. Apparently, they, like look, walleye, stripers, lake trout. I don't know if they, I think brown trout as well. I don't know if there's any other kind of trout. We're talking like, there's literally so much stuff in here. Muskie apparently, pike, pickerel. Largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, yellow perch, white perch, bluegill. We gotta find a good spot here. Let's try like, this little shade over here. So I mean, as you guys can see, like, honestly, we could really pull up anything. There's some jumbo catfish apparently in here as well. So uh, really, it's you know, a worm in a dream at the moment. I wonder what happened if I put a whole worm on here. As I said, I clean out my backpack. I'm lucky I even had these hooks in there. Honestly, I was almost having to use. This saltwater sabiki out here just something a little bit different here today man you know we're not pond hopping we're, we're dock hopping boat slip hopping come on nothing once look at where we are right now all these boats it's just a big old beautiful freaking lake i mean look at that sun's kind of going setting down a little bit too very uh picturesque it's crazy like honestly when you're here sometimes i feel like i'm in like a different country or something ah but where the heck Giant lake trout, man. <laughs> Watch me pull up like golden trout. All I gotta say, man, if you've not multi-species fished like this in a while, you, you gotta give it a shot. It's so much fun. 
Just the fact that you never know what you could pull up. If you use a lighter rod like this, it's just, it's just, it's just fun, man. All right, this is where we were getting them earlier, right? Let's try a little bit more in the shade over here. I think it's where we were getting them. Oh, we got one. Come on, man. I remember, I, I came fishing here before, and we were catching some pretty big rock bass around this time of the year. It's like, 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 like actually pretty freaking big. I know rock bass love worms too, so. I don't know, man, we're just worming out here. Come on. Oh, there's a fish. Hold on, what is that? Kelsey, bring him. Bring him over. Oh, that's a, dude, 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 that's even bigger. That is even bigger. Holy crap. Dude, if he is not impressed by this freaking, this is like such a big bluegill. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm actually kind of geeking right now. Oh my God. Dude, this is like a jumbo bluegill. Like actually, ah, he spiked me as well. Okay. Okay. Let me show you guys. Okay, hold on. You can't even really see. That is a freaking, like that's my hand. That is a giant camper. Camper, camper, camper. Look at this. What do you think of that, buddy? Huh? What do you think? Oh, he likes that one. Yeah, he likes it. I don't want him to get spiked. You like it, buddy? I caught it because I, you, you gave me the strength. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. I mean, to be honest, that's a freaking, that is a tanker of a freaking gill. All right. That just made my whole freaking day, actually. All right, we're gonna let that guy, I just, I hope you guys can see how big that thing is. Let him go. You want to watch me let him go, Cam? Give him a boop. Boop. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I freaking love this dog. All right, back to Squeaky Town. Wait, where am I going? Yeah, my arms are all the way over here. Oh, so that's pretty good luck, actually, so far. I mean, we caught it's probably the biggest bluegill I caught the whole year. I'm telling you guys, man, if you do not like this kind of fishing, like, yeah, I love bass fishing, I love trout fishing, but sometimes, man, if you just take a good old worm, drop it under some docks, you just you literally never know. What you could catch. I'm gonna throw a bigger piece on here, see if we can get even bigger. Like if we get a bigger bluegill than that, I mean that 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 thing was a freaking tank, dude. Aww. <laughs> Look at him go. That's awesome. He's got a little bandana on too. That dog's got some big old ears. That's why that's gonna be me someday, man. I'm a big old jet ski, a couple fishing rods on it. Camper's gonna be on it with me. Gonna be catching the freaking five pound bluegills. Let me try it out here, though. it's a little bit deeper. I guess I should say, this isn't my first time here at the lake. I guess I did kind of say that. But we've caught like on worms at these docks here. I've caught some pretty decent yellow perch. They're kind of over in this general area. It's like kind of a little bit deeper over here. Just wish I had a split shot since it's like deeper-ish. And I know there's gonna be like a comment or like five of people saying like, why doesn't Camper have a life jacket on? We literally have not, like we went to a couple of stores, we've not found him a life jacket yet. So that's why Kelsey literally has him, like he's on a leash, but he's on like a tight freaking leash. Like she, like, I, look at that. He's not going anywhere. And the good thing about it too, I mean, I know he's a baby, but I showed you guys in the last video, like we, the second day we had him, we put him in a swimming pool and we were trying to see if he could swim and stuff. And he loves water and he was legit. Like he can swim. We got seagulls flying out here. I swear I saw a freaking eagle earlier. I don't know what they're feeding these bluegills in here. Mm. All right, we're going to try something, man. We're going to go out to the deep deep rolling in the deep oh look at all these seagulls out here yeah we're gonna go kind of like to the end ish and see i don't know see if we can get like a smallie to eat this or something it's gonna take forever for this freaking thing to get down there i guess i should say i didn't say it in this video yet if you guys do enjoy my videos or if you're new here and you are not yet already subscribed please make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button wow it is getting a out over here hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload for me yeah we'll try out here for a little bit it's like very rocky i don't know i do just want to say though uh, i know this video and the last video i mean especially the last video it's like a lot of dog and it camper's gonna be part of the channel i mean obviously like now on until the future or did i just get a bite i just kind of want to say that like this is not complete dog channel like these videos are going to get back to normal he's going to be featured in them every now and then you know intros outros and stuff like that and we'll take him on some adventures but just don't worry man things are going to get back to normal starting next video come on man under all these docks you're going to tell me there's only two decent size one giant bluegill this is like this is really how you get your sea legs right here i feel like i'm wobbling man look at this rock i'm right to sleep <laughs> such a good boy. Sleepy boy. 
Yeah, he's a real sleepy boy. We'll have to show you guys, I don't know in this video, we'll have to show you. He's mastered sit, as I said last video. Now he knows down. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Did you enjoy your day so far fishing? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna come back fishing some more? Yeah? All right, we'll make it happen. All right, y'all, it is now the next day. I'm gonna be whipping some artificials out and we're gonna be trying to catch some bigger and hopefully some different species here in this lake. Grab these guys. All right, we're gonna be trying to figure something out. As I said, I don't have all the gear that I would, you know, really want to have here. I feel like, I mean, especially this time of year, a Ned rig would do some work. We got a couple things though. The wind's actually blowing at us, so that is a good thing. Let's just head over to this way. I was actually fishing over here the other day with Kelsey's dad. I did not catch anything that day, but here's the deal kind of, all right? So there's a creek, and that is kind of flowing into the big lake. We were fishing those docks kind of over that way-ish. It's crazy, man. Right around like this creek area, the water just gets so much colder. So I, I can't imagine some fish not being around here. That's why I, I was like, what the heck is going on the other day? I mean, big lake fishing like this is not my specialty, but if you're fishing from shore and you find like a little creek that feeds into the body of water, I mean, that that's just like textbook fishing especially it's a cold water creek there should be some fish right around this area there's some grass it gets a little deeper i did have a few bites and put this down we're gonna be going with this dude at the beginning now i don't know how far i'm gonna be able to throw this i didn't know the wind was blowing at me we'll give her a shot though this is just a little swim bait weightless oh that feels nice let's wait out here just a little bit oh that should be good actually so yeah, as I said, there's rocks. Let me actually come out here a little bit further. There's uh, grass and stuff. Everything that fish would want to be around. Just gotta find the fish, man. Pretty much my game plan here is just kind of let this fall. Slowly get it around all this crap. See if anything wants it, man. See some grass over there. I really do wish I had a Ned Rig though, man. So sad, I have like so much Ned Rig gear at my house. It's just sitting there. I just want to catch one, like, pickerel, bass, smolly. I gotta get something out of here. It's like a huge grass line right here. You tell me a pickerel isn't hiding out right here, waiting for something like this just to swoop on by. A fish? I have a fish. I have a freaking fish, dude. Please don't come off. I did not think I had a fish there. Oh my gosh, what is that? Holy crap, dude, I got something big. Oh my god, dude, that's a guy smally. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Dude, 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 dude. That is a nice smally. Oh my god, right from that freaking rock, dude. All right, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Oh my god, dude. Holy freaking crap. Yo, oh my god. Oh my freaking god. All right, chill, buddy. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, dude. Oh, that is a freaking smallie right there, man. Oh my gosh, I love these fish. Oh, he pooped on me. I love these freaking fish, man, for so many different reasons. First of all, I thought it was snagged. I didn't really even set the hook. Professional fisherman first day. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's a good freaking fish right there, man. Whew. I'll show you guys what I was using in a second. I'm gonna take a picture of that guy. We're gonna let him go. This water is so nice and clear. That is exactly what I wanted, man. I was kind of like, I don't know. Okay, all right. Oh, that is such a good feel. Thank you so much for writing, buddy. I hope I got some good like sunlight on him for you guys oh my gosh all right i freaking love these fish so much let's let them go right here man beautiful summertime oh yep nice release beautiful summertime smally i dude that was like i mean that was exactly how i would have planned it i don't know if you guys can see right there there's a rock i pitched it right behind the rock and just look at this ground right here there has to be freaking crawfish i bet you if i flip some of these over maybe i should come back and do that for another video let me just flip this rock over real quick I guarantee you, 
Uh, I don't see any right there. I guarantee you there's crawfish in here. Just a little crawfish imitation. That's all it took, man. Bouncing it along these rocks right by that one big rock. The perfect structure to hold a fish. Yeah, just a little weighted crawl. Got the job done here today. I'm gonna toss this thing a couple more times. I just, dude, that rock looked way too good. That was a good fight too. I mean, I love my bluegill, don't get me wrong. And every time I go out fishing, you guys know this, like, it's just to be out here. Fish are just a bonus. I love catching bluegill, I love smallies. Love getting snagged. Oh, that's my lucky crawl. All right, there we go. But just being out here, especially today, man, it's such a beautiful day. Being out last night, seeing campers, first reaction to the first fish I caught with him. I could just not ask for anything more, man. That fish was, oh my gosh. That was a nice smallie. If only you guys knew how many times I fished this freaking lake, man. Me and Kelsey come up here a decent amount, you know, every year. It's a tough place to fish, super pressured. I mean, that might be one of my favorite catches I've ever had out of this place. I, that, that was, dude, if you guys never caught a smallie, definitely just, just gotta go on your list. Super, super hard fighting fish, man. Jumpers too. I'm gonna cast around here a couple more times. We're gonna walk around the bank, maybe over to that little point over there. See if you can get anything else. But speaking of smallies, uh, around this time last year, I actually had some videos of where I traveled to Maine. I don't know how many new viewers we have watching this, but those videos, I'll link them down in the description below. Those videos, I caught some, dude, I caught some freaking smallies, man. We got all on the yak, there was mountains. I need to get back to Maine, man. There's so many places I wanna go. Ah, just stay tuned, man. Lots and lots of adventures to come. All right, y'all, well, I walked the bank. Unfortunately, we could not hook up with any other fish. I actually didn't even get any other bites out here. Yeah, I'm a pretty much out of time here today. I gotta go edit, I gotta go find internet. Again, I've been going to this local coffee shop. That's where I uploaded the last video. It was actually like decent-ish Wi-Fi, which like up here and when I travel is rare to find. It gets so frustrating sometimes trying to find Wi-Fi. You guys should have seen, man, the video before last video, I was actually at a wedding on Kelsey's hotspot on her phone, like editing the final touches. Like on YouTube, I edited the thumbnail in my car at the wedding and then I had to upload the video it's dude i'm making it work man i appreciate each and every one of you guys 500k we are on the way skirting our way to 1 million all i gotta say man just thank you guys so much for all the support and also if you have not already make sure to give this video a big thumbs up especially for campers first fish yeah i gotta go edit but thank you guys again for all the support all i gotta say man so let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching see you next video